Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Game. And in this week's edition we have a sexy Japanese pickup, one of the biggest town halls, and not forgetting a rotating crane. It can only happen on one show. Let's do this. And up first this week we have Chrysler with the Dime Saving Bank. Now this creator has really blessed us recently with some very nice buildings. And this small art deco bank is certainly one that will look great in your city centres. Now if you know me well enough you know I'm a great fan of textured bricks and nighttime shots and this model has both. Fantastic example of what we want to see more of in the workshop. Next up we have this monstrous building and what a great one it is by Jens. It's the New Town Hall Hanover and this model is sensational. Look at the texture details. Not only is it a huge building, but every single level of detail is put in on every angle. Now you may remember seeing this already on a workshop, but this is a re-upload with a new size and a completely different model. An excellent example of a huge build which does not lack when it comes to detail. And the nighttime view is fantastic, look at that. The ping is up next with this reflect building Rico style. So if you want to improve your skyline with a sensational tall building, this is certainly one to do the job. And looking at the model more, it really makes me feel there needs to be a helipad on the roof because it's such a high up building. An advantage of that would be a sensational little helipad added, but a great model nonetheless. Look forward to seeing more from this creator. And up next we have the return of Acapulco with the fantastic kiosks. If you missed the first batch of kiosks, make sure you head onto the workshop after this video and check out the other three. These three are just as great and well, we're also in for a bit of a treat as well. We've got some little tables to slip around your kiosks. And the fact it says stall table one, maybe we're in for a treat and we're going to get some more. We look forward to that. JSF1 returns and he's been heavily creating for the workshop these last few months. And we have the Supreme Court of Canada up first. So this is based on the real life model and it's a very unique building. Lots and lots of chimneys. The texture levels are very different, especially the fact it has a green roof, which is very unique for a model in city skylines, but nonetheless a great example of a Canadian building. And he's back again, it's Acapelco, and this is the Tomberg Culture Centre. Now personally, I'm a big fan of these small half timbered buildings. They really remind me of a sort of village creation and something more medieval. And I think there's a lot more that can be introduced onto the workshop with that creation. This model in itself, as always, fantastic. And it also proves that this creator is not only just a kiosk man, he can do everything. Also this week,
Now are you fed up of the horrible looking vanilla train tracks? Well, Jaron is here and he has saved the day with these beautiful, better than vanilla tracks, plus a high speed version. And also a single track seems to be on the cards. Now my personal favourite this week is the Daihatsu Hijet by Ronix. I managed to watch quite a lot of this on his live stream and it looks sensational. For the first proper vehicle that he has done, this is by no means below part standard. This is absolute top notch work and well I can't wait to see these driving around on my next build. And to finish off today's episode, we have this amazing, amazing design. It's the Tower Crane rotating by wind by none other than Swim Berlin. And well, it's a crane, but it also moves. And what I love about this is it's gonna really make things look a lot more realistic in terms of your sort of cinematic views. And just playing the game, seeing a crane moving around, having yourself a nice um, sort of construction site beneath it is really, really going to make things look a lot, a lot more realistic. A fantastic idea. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.